Hi guys, uh, welcome to the Fair Coat No Knickers podcast. My name is Sophie Latouche and today we're going to have uh, Melanie's blog life um, talking about motherhood. Um, I suppose the struggles and a very real account of what it's like to be a mom. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy and we are in 101 Limerick here today, um, who are the sponsors of the podcast. So um, give them a little follow on Instagram and stuff like that. But uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay. Oh my God, why That's am I good. nervous? This is not okay. I'm nervous. nervous. Yeah. What? Yeah, now I'm nervous. Hi. What the fuck, Melanie? <laughs> okay. Maybe it's because I don't know what it is to be a mother. But anyway, okay. Is it, do you know what it is? Is it because it's something that you just have? But isn't your sister a mom? Isn't one of them on me? Recently, but like, I'm just not into it. Like, I just don't get it. Like, yeah, you don't get it. Is that what it's all about? This well, is it's like motherhood, basically. Yeah. yeah. Because like, I do think on what I, like, obviously, I do think a lot of people that message me, it's always like, how do you deal with yeah. this and that? Yeah, and I think you're very honest, like, yeah. with with what goes on in the house and stuff mm. with the kids or if you're out and stuff and you know one of them has a tantrum like I've seen you come on being like okay <laughs> this happened today and like you can see that you are like yeah. extremely stressed mm. but you're like reflecting and you're like I'm going to share this with people because if you're going through it I want yeah, you to know exactly. you're not alone exactly yeah that's that is the thing like I can't be on I try to come on Instagram as much as I can but like realistically I'm like it's five five minutes of a day and it could be like a load of but that's it that's all I can yeah. do because like one kid yeah two kids yeah three kids four kids no it's 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 too hard but I do think it's something if you don't have kids yeah. you're just not going to yeah understand you don't it. understand and it's hard don't. it's hard I suppose because like as I was telling you my my housemate you know she became pregnant yeah. and one of my other friends just had a baby so we're all late starters like yeah we're but that in I think the 28 yeah. bracket and it's hard for me to understand how to be there for them as somebody that doesn't have kids and doesn't have mm. I don't think I have that maternal bit in me you know like and it's hard for me to relate to them but I want to be there yeah. for them as much I do as I can think in this day and age it is okay for a woman to turn and go you know what kids isn't just it, it's just not yeah. for me why is it so wrong i feel you either want kids or you don't want kids yeah. i feel i was put on this earth to have kids that's and so i said bad. that to you last you night did. Like, yeah that's, that's like, amazing and i don't think it's about like some people want to go out and they want to like make this massive name for themselves they want to build up a business yeah. and right now in my life my kids are my everything i do my few days yeah. and work and you know like simon has a great job and that's why you know i i, I just can do like you can be your mom you can be the you mom, know what like, I mean yeah but like you have to remember like I found I was pregnant at 20 oh my god can you think yeah. back to what you were doing at 20 yeah I was in Australia like like I know when I found out I was just about to go to Australia oh my god like, I, I actually was, remember that. I was flying to Australia I on the Wednesday that. I was with dad upstairs in River Island I think and yeah I just was like what is gonna I had left my job Simon had left we we're flying to Australia on the Wednesday and I found out on Saturday I was pregnant. Like, it was not in my plan. Stuff. But it's obviously the best thing that yeah. ever happened to you. But, like, I look back now and I'm like, I feel like 20, I was a 16-year-old. Like, yeah, we were kids. And, like, I suppose, let's just talk about that for a minute. Like, yeah. how was it... How was it that you had this, okay, let's go to Australia, let's, mm. like, create this new life. Mm. And I suppose you were obviously ready in your own self to, to do that and take that yeah. leap. But then how was it when you found out you're pregnant? Like, honestly, like, initially, were you like, oh, or were you like, oh, wait, this is amazing. I kind of, I laughed, like, I actually laughed. Like, I remember, and the funny thing is, I didn't even know I was pregnant. It was Simon. Like, I was so not in tune with myself, in okay. tune with my body. I didn't know me. I actually was just more about, like, going out, having a good time, yeah. having a drink, mm -hmm. um, going to work. I just, because I had no responsibilities. Like, yeah yeah we paid rent and stuff but I just yeah like I was just being a normal girl yeah when I found out he was like he was the one that pulled in and was like you need to get a pregnancy test I was like no I'm fine he's like no Melanie <laughs> you haven't had your period I was like <laughs> what minute was yeah and then when I found out I was pregnant I was actually couldn't believe it but I do think deep down I was kind of like I don't know I always felt as a little girl I always wanted to be a mum 
Okay. So obviously I was so like, what? This isn't in my, like I wasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. expecting to be, like I was like, we're going to Australia. But straight away I was like, cancel, cancel everything. I'm not leaving. Like, whereas he was like, no, let's go. Like, let's go. Like, I just don't think I would have been the right, if I went to Australia and had yeah. Morgan, I just don't think I would have. No. Sure, in that heat and everything going around with but a bump, like loads like, people do like loads of people move yeah. from Ireland and they find their families and they settle down and they have kids and but I just don't think I yeah. look back now and I was like I was so young and I think that's like the minute I was found out I was pregnant you, when you find out you're pregnant this hormone is released right really this and it is is this when you find out you're pregnant yeah or it's, it's kind of like when you like, appear this hormone is released okay, and so, okay. like it's couldn't tell you the name of it like but being a, a woman anyway it's like you know your time of the month your hormones like we just yeah. are up and down i just do yeah. think women just are up and down like Correct. i have three two sisters and my mother and i've just always been like oh my god we're always just up and down but when you're pregnant it's just on another level like i just couldn't cope with being pregnant i hated it really i hated being pregnant Both times no first time okay hated it like obviously explain, it was so young. like why? like i just felt so ugly okay i you still I remember I used to lock myself into the bathroom and cry because Melanie. Yeah, I would just sit there and cry because Simon wanted to go out and meet his friends and I'm like I felt like I couldn't go out because I was like I'm pre- I put I put the burden on myself. I'm like I do feel in this day and age now like if you were pregnant now there's like it's like yes you can go out mm-hmm. you can but I found when I was pregnant with Morgan everyone would just like when you're pregnant people would just stay at home. Okay. Like you'd never see a pregnant girl going out or you'd never see mm-hmm. You know, and I was just like, everything revolved, drinking, I was just, I couldn't drink, I just hated to be pregnant, I just felt so, and I think that's where it all kind of went downhill, because even when I had her, I just, I just hated, like, I just hated myself, and I I just didn't accept it, you You know? didn't accept it. Yeah, there's a difference when you're not expecting a baby. Yeah, Um, of course, yeah. But then it's different if you're trying for a baby. Yeah. And I wasn't trying for a baby, like, yeah. so I just found it very hard. Yeah, I suppose you weren't prepared. Not at all. For the changes that were going on in your body or yeah. maybe in your lifestyle yeah. and stuff. And like like what you're saying, kind of with everything revolved around drink and stuff, you were 20 and that was what people yeah. did. So that was your... Limerick is what it is your, now, like, yeah, exactly. you know what I mean? You don't have that to was go to what you did. Yeah. to bloody yeah. have a good time like no one no one went for walks yeah 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 you yeah. know it's all changed yeah. no one really went to the gym yeah 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 like you know yeah. there was no instagram yeah there was no instagram <laughs> and the, what, like. it didn't happen if it didn't go on instagram um, um but yeah and so look i suppose we talked yesterday and you put up a question box yeah on your instagram. yeah um because i suppose look i wanted to like make yeah. sure that we touched on things that people wanted to actually know rather than us you know sitting here yeah. chatting do you know about motherhood that we weren't hitting the things that people wanted to know and there was some there was some really common questions that that you got and you gave them to me um and I there suppose, was more afterwards as well i tried to think was there yeah yeah um i suppose one of the one of the things was like do you get stressed easily with with your kids 100 percent. okay I think people don't realise about me is I'm a stress head. Yeah. Everyone in my family knows. Like, yeah. I can't if... And I'm a perfectionist. Okay. So if I'm going out, like, I want my kids to look right. Yeah. I want to look good. <laughs> I'm like, Simon, take that off. But that's just me. Yeah. But if I... Like, I'm... I find it very hard. Like, this is a massive question. How do you cope? Yeah. Hun, I don't like come <laughs> yeah. on you're only looking at yeah. like a glimpse of my a little bit of a glimpse yeah. of my life on Instagram that and is so it. like would you like scream if you got stressed do you know and then would yeah. you feel really bad after it or are you just like yeah no, but like come. come here do you remember your mom screaming at you as a child yeah she my me. mom killed me like yeah. <laughs> you know I'm no yeah. different to my mother I'm no different to yeah, the, yeah. the girl that's you know down in pennies or yeah. the girl that's in yeah. you know Marco Polo like if you're a mom it's yeah you're human. Yeah, of course. Like, I'm yet to meet someone and say, oh no, I love, be- like, I love being a mother. Like, it's not stressful. Yeah. You know, every day is a good day. There's pros Hashtag and cons. Lies. There's pros and cons. Come on, there? like, like, I love being a mum. Yeah. But oh my God, there's another side of it. Like, okay. I'm only human. Yeah. And so with, with that, do you want to like talk about some of the pros and cons? Yeah. Maybe? So like, we'll start with the cons because I always find, start with the negative and with the positive. Yeah. Okay. So like, 
being a mom is hard. You don't know. I said this yesterday. You don't know when you wake up. You yeah. don't know what way your 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 children are gonna yeah. be. They're little humans. You know what yeah. I mean. You can't. You know you have all these guidelines. Being like, okay, if you do this, if you give, if you give your child this, they're mm-hmm. gonna. It only it works, but you have to realize you're gonna have bad days. Like, yeah, of course, there's gonna be days where you literally you can't leave the house mm-hmm. because your child's sick or your child is just going to scream all day. Mm-hmm. Um, so you lose it like you yeah. lose it with your kids so you snap but then you start snapping at other people mm-hmm. so if someone calls or if your partner's there if you have a partner or if your mom's there your friend you will you will take that anger out on people and then mm-hmm. they're going to be like oh my god you're such this and such that yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's because you're so frustrated with your kids of course that like you there's only release, like- you you do lose it but i do think like with me if i do scream and shout like there is i always i will always go back over and be like i'm sorry yeah. you know what I mean but they need to understand that I'm just human as well like yeah. you know Morgan's that bit older she's eight and she there is times I, like I'd be like oh my god like screaming at her mm-hmm. and she starts crying and I'm like oh my god but I'm I'm human yeah like I can't be like the perfect mother there's no such thing as a, this is the thing there's no such thing as a perfect mom and you know like let's say with regards your mom was a single mom yeah um and my mom was by the way me and Melanie used to <laughs> nearly, nearly be sisters. Nearly. Nearly. Uh, nearly. Her mom and my dad were together for a while. A little bit I of hope, while, I yeah. hope your no, mom doesn't kill fine. me for saying no. that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but I suppose, like, when, when I was younger, I was like, my mom is such a bitch. She's, like, screaming at me and yeah. this and that. But you're like, I was the little bitch. And, like, yeah. you don't realise until you get a little bit older. And, like, you know, it's probably hard... For you, because you're like, she'll realise someday. Yeah. But like, you know. Like, looking back at it, I was young, but like my other, like my sisters and stuff, my brother, like, they were older. So, my mum was a single mum for a while and then she met my dad that I call my dad yeah. now, like, but she found it very hard. Like, and even back then, like, back then must have been very hard. But like, there's yeah. so many women out there doing it on their own. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, when time are getting so bad like and you feel like i have no one you actually need to like give yourself a pep talk because no no one's going who is going to sit in mm-hmm. front of you but like you need to pull your socks up yeah. like you brought this person into the world like you know what i mean you mm-hmm. need to that's your main focus you yeah. know what i mean you need to, if you're not good in yourself how are you going to mm-hmm. raise a child mm-hmm. like Exactly. You need to give yourself a pep talk and you need to be like, you know what, I'm doing a good job. Yeah. I am doing the best mm-hmm. I can. You can't be the perfect mum mm-hmm. every time. But you know what? When We all know when you're really down and shit. It hits yeah. the fan. Like, yeah, no, it's awful. Who do you look to? You look to your mum. Yeah. No matter what your mum has said to you in the past, if you're mm-hmm. arguing with your mum, you love your mum. Like, yeah. true everything. So when this little person grows up, they can always, like, I remember as a teenager, I, like that, like, oh hit my mum. Yeah, couldn't be in a room with her yeah. like. Awful. But now, like, my mum is my best friend. Exactly, I'm the exact same. Yeah, she is my best friend. Like, yeah. So, yeah, like I just feel like, especially to because you, me, and you were talking like if you're a mom and you're doing it on your own, which a lot of people don't know, like my partner isn't there Monday to Friday, mm-hmm. so I am on my own. So mm-hmm. I do feel like I am a single mother. Yeah. Monday to Friday, I'm on my own mm-hmm. and I cry all the time. <laughs> yeah. I could be on Instagram and be like, oh my God, this day, da, 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 and it was a hard day. And then the minute I get off Instagram, I would lie in my bed and I would cry. And yeah. But like, who shows that? Yeah, like, exactly. Who goes You're not going to come like, on oh and say, God, lads, ball in here. Because like. you know, you're always going to have yeah. that one person to be like, can you not just do that? Like, oh, yeah, exactly. Camera, yeah. But like, that's what I'm saying. You just, you, people need to realise social media, you post what you want. Yeah. yeah. The kids looking well in the park, like, and the whole gang together, Come like, on, like, eating ice creams, and then... Sorry, you should have seen me in Gatwick Airport a few a few weeks ago. <laughs> Tell me about that. Oh, my God. Tell like, me right that. now, so, we've made a decision as a family that we're not going to go on a holiday till more Adeline is able to properly speak to me and understand you can't do this because it was the most horrific thing. Like, I actually felt... Like, when we got to Shannon Airport, she started... She doesn't like, like we'd say, so Adeline's her character, she doesn't like being told what to do at all, okay. you know? Whereas yeah. Morgan, she, like, you're like, sit there, she'll sit there. Yeah. So we got there, and in Shannon Airport, it was just a disaster. Like, they left one family through, they wouldn't leave me go through, and Adeline kicked off, and she throws herself on the ground, 
and starts like hitting her head off the ground screaming she tries to attack me you know i'm there and i'm trying to like (laughs) the sweat is pumping out of me and then i go through and then i have a woman standing beside me and she goes god she's very bold like that comment in itself i had tears like like i wasn't crying but i had tears simon was getting you know he's getting his pockets in their nana is like she's after leaving her passport so it's just chaos and then to have someone say that like yeah but this i that's made not okay like it's not okay but like we all do it we've all done yeah. it like i've been out and i'm it's like, still like oh my god, that child. Oh yeah my god. well like actually my friend that just had a baby yeah i asked her like is there anything that you yeah. want me to ask melanie and this was what she said do you feel um that basically when people tell you what to do with your kids do you feel like oh don't even go there like yeah and it's more so when you're first time mom. Okay. Okay. Eight. Okay. Well, that's so much. Yeah. So I find, right, that when you're first time mom, everyone wants to give opinion. Yeah, like, of course. Everyone, everyone wants to be like, you're going to go through this, you're going to go through that. Can I curse? Go. Bitch, please. <laughs> Bitch, please. Like, oh my God. Like, I do like I find like even now when my friend have kids I yeah. say nothing to them I'm yeah. like I forget yeah I'm like just do like if my friend she was like da, 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 and I'm like you need to go on the internet or something because I can't give you advice yeah, yeah, like yeah. you need to, like I will give you the best as I can but I actually forget like of I course, only yeah. like I forget like what Adeline was doing last week because yeah. I'm like I just don't want to remember that like mm-hmm. outrage when you're a first time mom everyone wants to give their opinion everyone's like you need to breastfeed you need to do this you need to by the best of everything and you do but like people forget they were a first time mum as well mm-hmm. and they hated it they hated being taught what to do yeah you just you even when people tell you what to do it's not going to but so then okay so obviously from someone yeah. that doesn't have kids like how do you know what to do then like how do you know what to do like you don't okay like I I remember the first time I had Morgan right I was lying in the bed and Simon was like, oh, I'm going I'm going home now. I cried. I was literally on my phone, lying in the bed, yeah. no one around me. Please. I was ringing my sister, ringing my mother. They were all out in the pub. You were all out in the pub. Just saying. They were all drinking <laughs> because, you know, wet the baby's head. And I'm, I, yeah. I didn't want to touch Morgan. I was so afraid. I was like, I can't do this. People don't realise it is. I could barely look after myself and now yeah. I have to look after this baby. And I suppose you're after going through a major, I suppose, yeah. medical situation to get them out of like, like, Don't you get know me wrong. I, mean? I do and know people that have kids and they've taken to it like that. Yeah. But deep down, they're still, they, they're still, you, you still are afraid. Yeah. But like me, I can only speak from my experience. Mm-hmm. I was so afraid. Like yeah. I literally was petrified but, but afraid now of what of, of her, doing her. it wrong oh, I was afraid of her like I was <laughs> what like do you mean you were afraid I was of afraid her? of her like I was literally yeah. like oh my god I, I could drop her or I could give yeah. her too much milk or I could like I was so afraid of like doing things wrong yeah like I just you can read so many books and like you can watch one born every minute and all this but it's not like yeah. it's but is there an intuition then like of like when you know it, like it's looking at you the baby sorry <laughs> it's looking at looking you it's an object <laughs> yeah a certain like, way are you like oh yeah I'll rub your back or whatever yeah you, know, you just you. like I remember like Morgan would c- cry and stuff and I would just do everything that I'm like okay burp or whatever but then like you have colic and you have all the things yeah. that go with it and I remember the first night that I ever went out Morgan decided to cry like she just decided I'm gonna like and I was like okay you could have done this anytime yeah. and I mean I stood in my room and I was literally dressed and I was yeah. doing this and I actually was like oh my god you know what's that crying I just want to go out like I actually yeah. because I haven't been out and I was getting yeah. so frustrated and she was a baby and I was yeah. like like I was just so mad yeah. like I was just all I wanted to do was go out like I just yeah. wanted a bit you of needed me that. Like, yeah. and I was like see this, this is the thing you just don't know when so how long after did you go out actually I think she was, I'm going to say about five or six months, I okay. decided and to go out. when you went out, right, what was the feeling? Because my friend that had the baby, yeah, oh my God. she just went out for her first night ever. Well, and she's been like, she's been talking about this night, honestly, for 
since she was yeah. two months pregnant. Yeah. Because we knew really, really early. Yeah. And um, she rang me the next day. She was like, Sophie, never again. Never again. And yeah. like... We're never going to say ever. We all say it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Come here. We course, all say yeah. never again. But I do think like now, two kids in, I said this to you last time. I'm like, oh, when can I go out? You, don't, <laughs> yeah. you get easier as, as time okay. goes on. But when I, at the start, I used to... Do you know the amount of times that I got dressed and arrived at my friend's house and I just went, bye, and never actually ended up going out? I would go back because I felt guilty. Stop. And I find women feel more guilty than men do. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, I can't go out. And then when I was out, all I was talking about is my child. Your babies and showing like photos and stuff. Yeah. You do do that. And then you're like... in a group and then you're with people that don't have kids and they actually will say to you, can we just get drunk? Can we just... No. And but that's fine because yeah. they don't have kids; they don't understand. Yeah. But I, uh, you do feel guilty. But yeah. then it gets easier. Yeah. Like it's not going to be like that forever. Yeah, like, yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? It's just being a. F- I just until you become a mum for the first time, you're never going to explain it. No. You're never I don't going think, to explain. I don't think it, it. It would be very hard for me to understand. The feeling yeah. that you had, do you know, just as obviously I've never had. Yeah, I do stuff. feel like the feeling, the way I felt back then, it's like a lifetime ago. Really? Like I felt so lost when I first had Morgan, but now mm-hmm. I'm like, I think I'm the best I've ever been in my life. Okay, that's you know amazing. what I mean. Yeah. So this is the main thing for people, especially like that are first time moms or like doing it on their own, whatever. You're going to be okay. Yeah. You're going to be fine. Yeah. Right now, it's like all up in the air and you don't mm-hmm. know if you're doing things right and you feel like you've lost yourself. Mm-hmm. And I think that's... It, you're, people get like that even when they're not yeah. a mother or mm-hmm. a father. It ha- that happens in life. Sometimes you kind of put yourself in a situation like, oh... Kind of, yeah. You know, it's... Kind of lose your identity yeah. almost. But you're going to be okay. Like, yeah. everyone... People become parents every day. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's okay to feel down and it's okay yeah. to feel you know oh, I'm just I'm losing everyone or I'm not feeling good about myself it will get better and then I suppose with regards to um body image massive. so this was a big thing this is this was a massive. big thing that people said to you last night wasn't it yeah it's and even afterwards I got off the phone to you when I woke up this morning there were still so many messages they're like and it's always I find um how do you do it? How do you do it? And I always like, like I remember when I had Adeline, I always used to say to people, stop judging yourself to me. I'm a totally different person than you. Like mm-hmm. my body is so much different to your body. Yeah. And you know, we all adjust dif- differently. And you know, that's I think what we, as women, we need to realize, I'm not gonna look like her and she's not gonna look like me. Mm-hmm. So after you have kids, it's the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. You don't feel 100%. Like you really, like I didn't. And I used to compare myself all the time. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how is she doing it? Like, how yeah. is she getting up and looking like that and doing that when I just don't have it in me? I feel mm-hmm. like I'm a total mess. But one thing that I always said when I became a mom is I always want to look good. Yeah. I always want to be, like, if I don't feel good about myself, even if, like, you can still get up and look, like, dress yourself and then sometimes you, you still not might like your head mightn't be in it mm-hmm. but I still always had to do it yeah. for myself I yeah. always had to put makeup on and whatever like now I don't really wear makeup on my days off like yeah. and stuff but it's okay so I'm getting ready in the morning it takes me I can get put on my, my makeup we say five minutes but within that five minutes yeah. right Adeline has poured things out <laughs> And I'm like, oh, I have to run. Or she's pulled her nappy off and there's poo everywhere. Yeah. Like, people don't see that. Like, yeah. I'm like, you're only seeing me, like, come on. And the glamour, you yeah. don't know what it took, like, to, to get, get here. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah. it's a process. Like, yeah. you just, now I'm like, oh, just, just mess. Just mess. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. mess. Let me do my face. It's all about working. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure the top influencers mm-hmm. do it as well. They just, just, they they just don't, don't post it. it. Like, Come on, like. And you told me about, um, I suppose, with regards to when you first had Morgan, I think it was. Yeah. And then you started going to the shops and trying yes. everything on to try and find your new yeah. style. Yeah. For your new body shape and stuff. Like, I was actually in here over Christmas and I met a girl and she had a baby and she was just like, she looked amazing. Like she yeah, looked yeah, yeah. fantastic. But we never see what other people see. Mm-hmm. Let's just put it out there. We just don't like. Yeah. 
and she was just like I feel so out of like I just don't even know what to wear like I do say I said this to you as well you need to take time yeah you need to like go I need to go into town on my own mm-hmm. and I need to try on stuff yeah. as much you could try on something like oh my god it can actually mm-hmm. make you feel horrible because I remember being in the shops and I was like this won't tie me and that yeah, won't tie yeah. me but you need to like get into your head that okay I'm not gonna my body's not gonna be like this yeah. forever like you've mm-hmm. just had a baby like mm-hmm. it takes ha- what 10 months to make a baby mm-hmm. Your body's not going to fall back into of place course. within a month. Like, do you yeah. know what I mean? It took me ages. How long did it take? I found Adeline was six months and I still, I'm go- like, I hated myself. Really? Yeah, I hated myself. I hated the way the clothes set in me. I just hated it. Like, but now I think when, when I had Adeline, I accepted it. Okay. I accepted being a mum because I was older. Yeah. And then... I think like someone very close to me like you know all they want is to have a child Mm -hmm. like all they want Mm -hmm. is to have a child and I'm like oh my god when you know people that can't have kids or are trying to have kids and you're older and you really want to have a a child yeah you know nobody knows like I as we said this earlier people now aren't having kids until they're like early 30s yeah who's to say that people are going to struggle to yeah, have a exactly, people think yeah. oh my god like we're gonna have sex and we're gonna get pregnant straight away yeah. it's not the case like mm-hmm. I tried for months to have Adeline and it just was not happening really you know what I mean yeah. so I find it when you're pregnant the first time and after you have a baby you're just out of sorts you just don't know what to wear mm-hmm. and then I fi- found when I was pregnant with Adeline on the second time oh my god I embraced it so much yeah. I love being pregnant I was like Instead of hiding the bump, yeah. Oh my god, I was hey, like, honey. I was wearing everything. <laughs> now I didn't go to the stage where like you like yeah, you were yeah, wearing yeah. the belly top and stuff. But people do yeah. like people show off their little yeah. and then just cover their bump and yeah. I just embraced it so much more. I just think a lot of people the first time round just we we suffer so much more because yeah. we just don't. You've dealt with like going into like shops and yeah. trying on stuff and mm-hmm. not having to deal with like oh this doesn't close on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like your body's never gonna be the same. Yeah. Let's just put it out there. Once you have yeah. a kid, like my boobies, <laughs> <laughs> they're just yeah. yeah. But like, like it was, it was like I know I keep referring back to my friend, but it's yeah, the only kind of yeah. example that I have. Yeah. But, um, she was going to a wedding. Yeah. Um just actually on Tuesday and um, she tried on a dress that she'd ordered now she would be quite slim like um, and she's only like three months after having the baby like and she tried on the dress that she had and it just it was it was so her before she got pregnant and I said to her look go down to the crescent have a look around she tried on all the same style dresses as what she would have before she Mm. was pregnant and then tried on one other dress that was completely out of her like shape yeah her normal shape and i was like look it's fabulous on you you have to accept that your body's a little bit different than what it was and yeah. she was like do you know what you're right like and she felt so much more comfortable in yeah in the other shape like so i think it's just about like i suppose finding what suits you yeah. your new body shape we like. as women obsess yeah i know and I, I know men do as well, yeah. especially in this day and age, but women, yeah. we obsess oh, completely. about how like, we look. Yeah, completely. And I know myself, like I do. Like I, yeah. I'm like, oh my God, like you, like as much as I'm more acceptance of myself, you still obsess. Of course, yeah. You know what I mean? You still compare. Yeah. But like that, I find that when you become a mom, it's very hard to accept that. Mm-hmm well, why can't I wear that top? Or yeah. why, you know what I mean? If people have stretch marks, mm-hmm. like I've stretch marks all along here. And like, the f- like people always say to me, oh, you're so confident. But like last year, last summer was the first summer that I actually walked around on holidays with just the bikini bottoms. Like obviously I had my serious? bikini on. But I would always cover my bum. I would over really because, stop, no, like... but like people don't see it. Like yeah. I would actually be walking along but put on my shorts and I would actually start getting like palpitations. I'm like, oh my God, everyone's looking at my stretch marks. Da, da, da. And then you could be yeah. someone across the pool looking and be like, oh yeah, she's not a care in the butt. Yeah. In the butt. But you don't know what my, yeah. my mind is like going, oh my God. Yeah. But I don't think that's ever going to fully go. Yeah. That's just yeah. the way it is. Yeah. You know, I can't wear 
certain things or you know because my boobs aren't like this anymore yeah you know what i mean like yeah. i remember going up people like have you a boob job and now like i like because i've been pregnant like yeah. when i get pregnant my boobs get so big and mm-hmm. then they deflate so it's like yeah someone that ha- basically the only way i can put it is it's like someone that was really heavy and they lost that weight and they've that extra skin that's mm-hmm. exactly what it is okay. so now i have to be like even when i'm on holidays i can't wear certain bikinis yeah and i'm like oh yeah can I ask you about breastfeeding? Did you breastfeed? I didn't breastfeed. You didn't. I okay. decided with more Adeline that I was going to breastfeed. Okay. And because I was working like yeah. Monday to Friday. Yeah. And I was living out the country and then I was traveling in. I was like, do you know what? I don't have time. I No, I was being selfish with myself. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I've just mm-hmm. done this many months carrying yes. a baby. Yeah. Towards the end, it got really hard with Adeline. Like, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? I just couldn't sleep. And then I gave birth and I was like, oh, I gave. Now, this is just me. Yeah. Right? No, but, but this, this is, is just good, my yeah. experience. And like, I know a lot of people would be like, no, you need to breastfeed. It's better for the yeah. kids. And I'm like, if you want to do that, I'm not going to question you. Yeah, you exactly. do what you think is best for you. Yeah. But me? Yeah. No. I've given enough. I've given enough. Yeah. I'm going to bottle feed. Like, I'm, my mother gave, like, had four of us and my mother was like I breastfed one of you don't do it Melanie you were tied down like my sister I think yeah. breastfed all her kids and I remember when Adeline I was like I'm going to breastfeed I'm going to breastfeed and then when I decided not to oh my god she kind of was like do you know that they get this and you get that and I was like hon I wasn't breastfed yeah, yeah. I'm perfectly healthy yeah. Morgan wasn't breastfed let yeah. let these m- mums do yeah. what they want. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Why enforce it? Yeah, like my my friend again. Like she had been trying to breastfeed, yeah. and I called out here a few weeks ago, and basically I was like, "Oh, like how are you getting on?" And she was like, "Oh, he's on the bottles." Like yeah. really ashamed, and I was like, "Okay, like." And yeah. she was like, "Yeah, like it's just you know I'm like really upset over it." And I was like, "Why are but you?" Does she but, feel that she needs to explain to you? Like I think maybe it's because she maybe thought she wanted to and. It seems that anyone that I talk to seems to have this emotional attachment to yeah. breastfeeding and it's almost frowned upon if you don't do it. Like, And I just it can't is. understand it. like Because like you're saying, you need a time back for yourself. Like It is. Like um, I have seen... Yeah. I've been in groups where yeah. I actually had to leave. Like a lot, a lot of groups really? on Facebook that I actually had to leave because I've seen... To me, it's bullying. Yeah. It's actually bullying. Like I do feel like... Um, some women will be- breastfeed and they'll be like, oh yeah, do it. Like, And they'll give their advice. And then some women yeah. will just be like, no, you need to, this is what it does. And yeah. like I've seen, I as I said a few minutes ago, like I've been in groups, I can't, I just can't be in groups because I feel like, I've read comments off some women that do breastfeed and to me it's like, you are forcing it. Mm-hmm. And then other women that are like agreeing with what she said, it comes a little like a group and mm-hmm. it's, it is a little form of bullying because I've spoken to women that have messaged me yeah. and girls and been like I actually feel like groups have made me worse because I feel like they're actually pressuring me okay. into breastfeeding yeah. so like yeah. it's fine do it if you really want to do it yeah. it's 100% fine but if you don't want to do it it's fine and if a baby doesn't latch a baby doesn't la- yeah. latch it's not the end of the world like exactly you yeah. know what I mean yeah, no, look, and I think I think that is really important. So, like, tell your friend yeah. just, just to I'm wing it, like. I'm that you've kind of shone light on the fact that, you know what, it's great, but it's also great not to do it because yeah, you get like, your time back, you know? You know, and it's it's great that you've actually highlighted that. I'm I think going to be, I put my hand up and be like, you know, I made that decision to be like, I was like, all right, so I'm in the car all the time, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Am I putting extra, I'm actually putting extra pressure on me. Then you're going to have some people going, oh, you're being a bit selfish. Yeah, okay, I'll own that. That's that's totally fine. Yeah. But that's me. Yeah. I'm not going to judge you in what way you raise your kids and what you do with your kids. Yeah. So please don't judge me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, so let's like finish on, I think, the question that you, you I suppose I'm making a question out of what yeah. you kind of finished on with me last night about how much you love being a mum. I love being a mom. Yeah. Okay. Like, my friends, right, will tell you how much I love being a mom. That's so funny. Like, I, I said this to you last night, right? You will never love someone 
this is just me right like someone could come in and be like say something totally different but this is just my opinion I will never love my mum I'll never love my partner I'll never love my friends as much as I love my kids that's amazing it's like if I'm at home and I'm looking at Adeline and I'm looking at Morgan and it could be oh do you want something or you know I could ask them are you okay or just ask them something simple I get this I don't know if other mums can relate to it but I get this like feeling in my stomach and it's like it's a, like a love buzz thing and I can't I can't describe it yeah. if I could describe it and I could share it I would but I've never felt that I've mm-hmm. never felt that towards uh, my mother I've never felt it towards a partner like I love my partner and I love my mother but they're my kids like they grew inside me I will protect them through everything and this is yeah. one thing as a mum I trust no one yeah I trust no one my kids they're they're mine yeah like I love them so much so much that you know if my life has to end to save them well then you know I'm never ever stop I've goosebumps no but I'm never going to never it's it just that's just becoming a mum like that's with the minute you give birth like and that baby is put onto you that defeats everything that's the experience becoming a first time mum that like even though the road is so hard it can be so hard you do lose yourself a little bit but like it's a, a miracle to carry a baby and to birth a baby like it is if I could have a camera crew while I'm giving birth like like picture those midwives when they're seeing a baby yeah. come in it's it's outstanding like what what yeah. a, a body like what your body goes through and then you bounce back women don't pat themselves on their back like enough to be like what they do it is outstanding if every person could see a woman going through labor if it could be like 24 hours and then the end result and what they have to do and even if they have to go through a c-section it doesn't matter it's like your warrior like mm-hmm. i always as i said earlier like i think i was put on the earth to be a mother mm-hmm. like i i've like i can't explain it like i just love my kids so much that's so fun. like so much and I that think, just maybe you're making me like a little bit broody for <laughs> a kid for the first time in my life like no but it is you know? like it is tough like and like i know you can never tackle all the questions people want to know uh, you know about being a mother but like just sit back and be like not everyone can have kids yeah not everyone everyone is going through their own struggle And when you're put in a situation where a doctor tells you you can't have kids or, you know, something is wrong or, you know, it's just not happening for you. Or to the women out there that, you know, has lost a baby or has miscarried. Like, I miscarried. I've never shared it, like, on social media. It was the most devastating thing. So when I sit down and I look and I'm like, even if you have one child, if you have two kids, I'm like, thank God so much that I have these that's you so know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, yeah, yeah. it's ama- It's the to me, it's the most amazing thing I'll ever do. That's amazing. ever. Okay. Well, thank you no. so much. Um, I think definitely I want to have babies now. <laughs> Melanie Manifold just changed my yeah, my like, outlook. Um, what I always do is just I suppose if anyone has any questions and yeah. they want to follow you and see, because I know you talk a lot in your stories yeah, about yeah. your daily struggles with the kids. Like, yeah. Um. So it's Melanie's blog, blog life. life. Yeah, and like so, like I know. Thank you so much to the people that have, yeah. like, so many people wrote into questions, and you can't tackle. Now I did say I will go on my Instagram and like yeah. answer some questions yeah. because, of course, it could take so long. Yeah, with any conversation. Yeah. So if we, if you're watching it and or if you're listening to it and we haven't tackled, yeah. So Melanie's blog life is your Instagram. Yeah. So okay, one sentence. What advice would you give to mothers? One sentence would be the main thing bit of advice doesn't have to be one sentence actually but just one little piece of advice when we before we go it's it's not by a book no one can give you an advice like no one can tell you you're doing this wrong you're doing that wrong you're doing it yeah so you're doing it right but you're doing it in your way yeah so just keep doing it it's not always going to be a struggle it's always going to get better you're you're raising a human being you're not raising you know a spider or a bird (laughs) or you know you're not like you know you're you're raising 
the next actually, generation yeah. that's yeah. exactly it yeah as long as you're showing them right and wrong mm-hmm. love and you know okay the sleepless nights don't last forever they don't last forever have a glass of wine yeah, yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> wing it like just yeah pat yourself on the back to the women yeah. especially the women that are doing it on their own yeah. you know what i mean my mother did it your mother did it we mm-hmm. you know what i mean they're the strongest women yeah oh my god you know what i yeah. mean you're doing it on your yeah. own um I think women are just amazing species, like, amazing. But, yeah, just keep going and, you know, just tell yourself you're doing, you don't need someone to tell you you're doing a good job. You need to tell yourself that you're doing a good job. Yeah, okay, thanks. No, brother. Bye.